602 from your local election headquarters. The village votes are in. Overnight results pouring in from the polls across Onondaga County. Fayetteville and Marcellus both waking up to news of a new mayor as others say yes to switching the election calendar. We are covering it all this morning. Let's start with the latest in Marcellus. A major shakeup in the race for mayor. What was supposed to be a clear victory in the village has turned to a wild finish for a write-in candidate. Overnight, we've learned a write-in candidate, Chad Clark, he's a tavern owner, has enough votes to take over as mayor. According to the village clerk, he raked in over 300 votes, well over 100 more than the current mayor, John Murphy. Murphy was originally running uncontested, but ch that changed due to the controversy surrounding No James Supermarket. Recently, the village board put a six-month moratorium on new development after learning Richard No James was closing his supermarket, retiring, and then selling it to Stewart's shop. That decision prompting several people to start a writing campaign creating the contested election. No James has since submitted an exception application which would allow Stewart's to buy the market and build its own store there. A public hearing is also on the agenda regarding that moratorium in Marcellus. That meeting is set for this Monday at 7 p.m. in the Marcellus High School Auditorium. Moving on to the mayor of Fayetteville. We knew the village would get a new mayor after a longtime leader Mark Olson, a county lawmaker, is now unable to run again. So the deputy mayor, Michael Small, picking up 605 votes to Sarah Bullinger's 454. Also in the village of Fayetteville, voters overwhelmingly saying yes to moving future elections to November. The vote count there, 651 in favor, 394 against it. And turning the ballots in Baldwinsville, voters resoundingly say no to moving elections from March to June. But on Proposition 2, they are in favor, 442 to 328.